So a couple days ago in the comment section, one of you guys asked if we can 3D model and 3D print a dog bowl, and that's exactly what we're doing today. Let's get started. Okay, let's start out by creating a sketch. Let's create a simple trapezoid that goes back to the origin point in the middle of the screen. And once we have that, we can actually revolve this in a circle on the Z axis to get our dog bowl shape. And now once we have that, let's create another sketch on top. Let's create another circle that's slightly smaller than the other one. Now we can extrude that downwards, which will actually cut it out, giving us that dog bowl shape. Now let's shell out the bottom so we don't have to use as much material when we're 3D printing it. And now let's do the fillets. We're going to fillet the outside and we're actually going to chamfer the bottom. That way we don't have any exposed layer lines and we don't need supports. These are just for aesthetic reasons. And now once you have that, let's customize it. Let's create a construction plane that's slightly outside of the model. And let's create another sketch. Now we can add text. So let's create a text prompt. And now let's add anything you want. I'm going to add my dog's name, Max, because I love him so much. <clears throat> Once you've added your desired text and changed the font, just like everything else, we're going to extrude that through the outside of the model, but not through the inside of the model. And we're finished. Okay, now let's import this into a slicing software. I'm using Bamboo Studios, and I see we have a couple overhangs, so let's add some tree supports. Actually, everything looks good, but look at the bottom. Can you see those layer lines at the bottom? Let's actually fix that. So they have this thing called adaptive layer lines, which will actually smooth out your print. So I'm just going through the settings, seeing which one looks better. I like the smooth option. Let's slice it. And wow, almost all the layer lines are gone. So this is looking good. So now let's send it off to the printer.